absolute pleasure to announce your 2023 VEX Robotics World Champions, the Technology Division! Congratulations to BarkBots, the Bay Area Robotics Club who has won us a medal at the World Robotics Championship. So this is a glorious moment for all of us here in Silicon Valley and Congressman Rokhana has just recognized these kids as well. So congratulations everyone. Today you have made a congressional recognition as well as you have uh, given awards to some of the kids who have made it to the World Robotics Championship. You have always been promoting and supporting the technological uh, causes. So tell us a little more about this. Well, we're very excited. We have a team here from our district, CD17, that won the entire championship, world championship, competing with teams from all over the world. They partnered with a team in South Dakota, so showing Silicon Valley partnering with South Dakota to be able to win. Very, very proud of them, and they're really uh, a model for our state and for our country. Dallas and around the world, help me count this down. The World Championship, game number one, begins in three, two, one, go! 15 second autonomous underway, looking to see if they can go upstairs. Red Alliance, three upstairs, yes sir. Blue Alliance, one out of three on the set. For the Red Alliance, getting two more upstairs. Blue's gotta come up big for the 10. They are trapped on the roller, so the Red Alliance here. Cupertino, California, BarkBot's getting there, have three reigns to play. Three seconds, somebody else has to fire. Red will get it, Blue will get it, that's the buzzer. Well, I'm a programmer for the team. It's actually my first year programming. So um, we basically we work on a 15 second autonomous routine where the robot uh, completes various tasks specific to the game. I also work with Keshav over there. And um, it was actually quite challenging because it's both of our first years doing robotics. So um, it was a steep le learning curve. And also one more interesting thing is that it's also our driver Alex's first year as well. So it was also interesting, you know, uh, programming and maybe working with him as well to make sure he can drive well during the actual tournament. Now this is a game that is like gender agnostic, girls and boys uh, who are high schoolers, uh, this game is more popular. What exactly is the name? Uh, what are the rules of the game? Uh, I mean some of the rules of the game is that... Uh, what is it called first of all? Oh sorry, so it's called Spin Up. Mm -hmm. um, and basically the goal of the game is to basically shoot as many discs as you can into the basket. There's like a basket. And then you have to flip a roller, which if you're the Red Alliance, you need to score the red roller. And if you're blue, you score for blue. And in the last 10 seconds of the match, you can expand, which if you look right here, we have these, these strings right here, which for every tile you touch, you get three points. Yeah. So that's quite similar to basketball? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess you could call it. In some ways, at yeah. least. <laughs> yeah, I would actually compare it more to the frisbee, frisbee golf frisbee, almost. Yeah. yeah. So whose idea was it? Was it yours? Uh, no, <laughs> absolutely not. I actually, I envisioned the a robot which would more resembles a tank with a turret and you know that turret would be like auto aiming but I'm an adult and kids are like this is not gonna work we're gonna do it the kids way and uh, uh, they built five different robots this year and this is the last one um, essentially they were exploring various ideas uh, trying to do various things which would work on a field they were taking ideas to the field and if the idea works they keep it if the idea doesn't work they abandon it <laughs> wonderful so what exactly was the championship or you know where you went and competed tell us a little more about the arena uh, we went to Texas we went to Texas uh, in Dallas and there was a huge venue over there where there was like 10 divisions and each division had like three fields and we competed in like over like or the each division had over 200 matches played each team played around 10 matches we played multiple many t different teams and we alliance with many different teams and then at the end um, you pick a partner 
which we picked the South Dakota team. Mm -hmm. And then you play in an elimination bracket where whoever just goes to the top gets to go to this um, huge arena called the Dome, where there's like the winners of each division play each other in another elimination bracket. And whoever wins that elimination bracket wins the Worlds, which we did. Wow, wonderful. So, you know, how confident were you when you were going from initial stages uh, up till the semi-finals and then to the final? Um, I'd say that the first round is always the most difficult because we're playing with a new partner. Um, we don't know how well we're going to mesh together. Um, after the first round, uh, after you win that first match, it becomes much easier because you trust your alliance partner way more. Um, and you're able to play off each other's strengths. Um, and beyond of discussing the strategy beforehand, you actually see how that strategy played out in the match. Um, and you can see what elements worked, which elements don't. And you can just keep improving that strategy. So I'd say that the higher you climb, the more confident you get because it's just a testament to how well you work together. So, yeah. so what language you have used for programming this robot? We used C++ for programming the robot, and there were several different options. We had Java, Python. Anurag and I were both very uh, familiar with uh, C++, and um, uh, we, we often, um, as we said, it was our first year, so it was really, really um, helpful and inspiring to have our captains and our mentors um, help us and direct us with uh, what worked well in previous years and um, guiding us a lot. So going back to you, Anurag, you know, uh, when we see syntactical errors, when we code or we sometimes try to figure out whether this logic will work or not and you work day in and day out, you know, until you really see that execute successfully, you know, those are some of the moments, especially in the initial phase of the coding. Uh, so as a kid, how is your experience? So, I mean, I wasn't a very experienced programmer, so I think it was very helpful for our mentor to actually like guide me through like the programming process for example and also my teammates as well for example if something went wrong in the code it's not immediately just blaming the code it's seeing are the robot ideal uh, conditions ideal like are the motors overheating or is something mechanically wrong with the robot and also one more thing we did was test our code multiple times to also see maybe there is a problem with the code in terms of consistency for example we use sensors right so sometimes maybe we have to account for like a sensor like bugging out or something right so yeah wonderful so what was the most special moment you had while creating this robot while building it up uh, i think the coolest part was just seeing it all come together i mean we spent months and months planning throughout the season uh, i mean we didn't pick on one design we've just been testing different things um, and so it was really really uh, cool to just see the robot finally just come together and see our driver alex just start you know beating out a lot of teams i mean it's his first year and he's an eighth grader com competing against uh, high level seniors and uh, junior teams and i mean we really showed out so yeah so do you plan to put to use it in real life or it was just meant for competing and winning the prize uh so this robot is mainly meant for uh, competing purposes um, because it's designed specifically to fit uh, certain rules and restrictions so it can't really do anything else other than what the coda is telling it to do and what the game uh, is like what, what the functionality of the game wonderful so anurag like um, you are um with this wonderful group of enthusiastic kids and you know this is I think the kickstart of your of your career where you have already achieved this award World Robotics Championship is not a small thing right uh, I know Silicon Valley should always take the lead but you have actually made it so once again congratulations and what next what's in your mind uh, I don't know we have a lot of plans in the future like we're trying to maybe you know continue on our momentum that we have right maybe try competing very hard next year and then we're also planning on trying to help other teams you know try to achieve success the way we have like try to mentor other teams and try to like help like other teams that are maybe not as privileged as us and maybe help them you know make it to worlds or and be a very competitive team as well so these high schoolers have undoubtedly done a commendable job and I really want to congratulate the parents because they are the ones who have encouraged them to pursue this wonderful career they have supported them in several ways emotionally financially and they have encouraged them to be there and achieve what they have achieved so congratulations Anil and all the parents so tell us a little more about the behind the scene work 
Thank you, Jocelyn. Thank you. Uh, these uh, children made us really, really proud. It's not an easy task for these many of them in the junior year. It takes a lot from them, as we all know, like in Monta Vista, Stanford online schools are not easy to kind of get good grades and get ready for the college. But they have a lot of enthusiasm and energy to go through uh, extra mile to learn these activities from Coach Dennis. He's also a parent of, you know, uh, Alex and uh, uh, Timur. But, uh, you know, uh, th th these guys really, really step up to the plate. Some of them have the uh, rookie uh, participants in the game. But, you know, us parents, we are always there to support you in terms of whatever they would like to do, whatever they would like to accomplish. We also felt like, you know, they are going through such a tremendous pressure curriculum like Mona Vista and all, but this kind of gives them an outlet to kind of go uh, decompress themselves and also use their energies in a positive way and different way. And not only that, this entire uh, process uh, mentored them, taught them to be very collaborative, work as a team, and being effective in communication and also work under a lot of pressure and it, along the side um, having a lot of fun. I think, you know, us parents, you know, have, you know, we have to really take them to various competitions and travel along with them. That's a minor part, but given the effort that the kids put in, it is, it is like a fabulous, at the end of the day, having this kind of a trophy in their hands and uh, winning in the world stage is absolutely kind of makes us forget all the pains that either the kids have taken or the parents have taken. Not only that, they were so thoughtful and forthcoming, but the next year they're planning to even go uh, help other teams to share their uh, you know success story and also help underprivileged kids to see if they can participate in these kind of games, you know, either locally within the Silicon Valley or across the world, maybe in Africa and some other countries. Like that, that's, they have a big heart as well. So we as a parents are going to definitely support their initiative. And uh, as a mentor, like how was your experience with this team in particular? We started the season with basically Timur and um, Saket coming together and just wanted to build a robot. They're Basically, we had no expectations. I mean, like our first expectation was just to go to the tournament and try to win the game. We came to the tournament, we won the game, and then they wanted to win the tournament. And we came to the next tournament or the other, the, the third one, and they won that tournament. And I, can't, I guess that was the moment when Saket told me, I want to qualify for the Worlds and I want to try to win it. And um, this is the dream come true. This is absolutely unexpected. This is something which I didn't even think about. That's why I'm so grateful that these kids did it. Wonderful. Congratulations again. It was lovely to talk to each one of you. And thank you for sharing your experience with Yo! India TV. Wish you all the best for your next moves as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.